Hey, what's up everybody? I'm coming to you guys because yesterday I did the recording of the video and then right in the middle of my video someone gave me a call. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I know you guys you guys might see my face looking kind of iffy. It's because I'm going to get ready to go over to Facebook and do my makeup video. But before I do that, I just thought that I'd come and talk about what... Oh, the shirt. Let me try to get that out of the... <laughs> out of plain view shoot it's just a shirt that i grabbed um anyway so um i thought that i'd come and i'd talk about the, the the big old thing that that is in the air now it's all over the news and so on and it's bullying see people don't understand when when kids adults elderly are being bullied it can come in many different ways. It can come silent. It can come loud. I need you to go uh, clean up. Go finish cleaning up. I'll tell you guys when it's over. Uh, it's this is a journey that I'm taking you guys on too with when it comes to my, my four big kids plus two teenagers. One of them not teen no more. She's an adult. And then the other one is a teen. But anyway, it comes silent. It comes loud. And it can come like a storm a big old storm well and then it, this brings kids to a place where they want to commit suicide where they want to hurt themselves where they don't want to go back to school they don't have no friends and it's just hard for them okay so let me tell you a little bit about what's going on with me and mine okay i have seven children one is an adult 24 one is an adult 18 then then the other what is it four other five are um what's another yeah or teenagers because my son is 17 he'll be 18 next year okay so um we don't bother nobody we are a calm cool and collective family you know dad on the other hand he's a different story he's not out there either but he's more loud and vocal me, I'm more like a person that just be like, okay, I want to, you know, do this and do that. If we can work this out and, and maybe the kids, you know, I try to be a peacemaker until I'm pushed over the edge. So once I'm pushed over the edge, there's no turning back. So with this particular issue, I've been trying my best to be as patient as I am. Okay. We come from a big old family and everybody in this household is not going to like each other because it's too many different hormones going on at one time, different um, astrology signs going on, attitudes here and there all over the place. So, you know, when we go out to school, it's not like we're put in the same classroom, which I wish that was the case i wish that the third graders and the 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 third and the fifth graders could hang out together no hang out together because it's hot in there hang out together and then i wish that the the kindergartners and the first graders can hang out together. something like that so now it's been it been since the beginning of the school year right around about a month or two into the school year and my daughter's best friend decided that she wanted to go gain other friends now the other friends didn't want to really be her friend and the only reason why they wanted to be her friend is because they seen the friendship that her and my daughter had established and guy had going on and they walking home every day and they're talking and they're happy so of course when you see that you're going to say okay well come on and be our friend and we don't want her to be your friend our friend because we know that that will get up under skin and if we let the best friend be friends then we ain't gonna have a chance with her so time went on you know she found another friend in her apartment complex she ended up moving so that was fine but um now it, it at when we were at that point she was always saying oh she's just mad that I got other friends and I'm sitting up here saying, why in the hell is someone trying to justify when you just literally switched up on them? Don't want to hang out with them no more. Ain't got nothing to say when your, when your new friends say, no, she can't hang out. That ain't no friend. So I told my daughter, I said, hey, look, let me tell you something. And I teach my kids this. This is one thing that, you know, dad, he's done it, but not too much. But I teach him like, hey, look, listen, if you can't talk it out with your friend, then that's not your friend and you move on. My daughter's having a hard time. Like she's really, really struggling with um, accepting the fact that her best friend since 
first grade. They're now in third grade. That's a long time for kids, though. Um, don't want to be a friend no more. And so, um, you know, it, and it's just been a lot over time you know with the other girls messing with my daughter and and then the the friend the best friend not saying anything then the other girls messing with her over and over so finally i just came to a conclusion where i was just like okay let me go find somebody's parent so i found someone on facebook one of the parents on facebook told her the little girl got in trouble and ever since then she ain't been bothering my daughter but the day that i went to go address the other girl i did i addressed the kids i'm sorry because i told Told the school a thousand and one times I couldn't find her mother's Facebook and so I know her mother don't drop her off anymore because her mom works she's a hard worker so she works all night so when she come home in the morning she want to go to bed she ain't got time to come home to no school shit and then all of a sudden you know everybody is just going crazy so what I did was I was like um I went to the kids and I said hey you know look you know Come here, guys. Come here. They came to me, and I talked with them. Very, very nice. I said, you know, um, what's the going on with you guys and my daughter? And she, they're like, we want to be her friend, but she doesn't want to be our friend. And then she said, oh, she got mad at me. Um, I asked her a question. She yelled at me. And my mother says that if anybody yells at me, I have every right to yell back. I said, sweetie, your mom is right. You absolutely do have a right to yell back. And then I said, well, what you mad for? The other girl, she's mad because she got she got my friend. Okay, so did she do anything to you this morning? You need to let me know. I'll let you. Um, I'm, I'll take care of y'all in a little bit. Go finish the room. The room is not clean. That room is filthy. Y'all get in there and go clean up. This is what you'll see a lot in my videos. I won't edit anything. And then I'm not supposed to because you're going to walk with me in the life of living with seven kids, six kids, five kids. Um, so anyway, um, so I said, what did she do? And she's like, oh, nothing. I said, okay, so you're angry and upset because your mom told you to stop doing what you were doing, right? And she says, yes. I said, so I told your mother, come on out of the kitchen. I said, I told your mother. I said, so if you're going to be mad at anybody, you can be mad at me. I said, because what you were doing is not cool. That's why I told your mom. And then I told the other little girl, I said, and I know your mom. And if I ever see your mom, I'm going to tell her too about how you've been behaving in school because you know you're not like that. I said, you guys are too beautiful to be sitting here. Could you turn that down some? Being, uh, being, uh, mean to each other. I said, if you don't want to be her friend, that's fine. Don't mess with her, though. And if you want to be her friend, then be her friend without lies. You know? So, what happened? Uzziah! Everybody go in the room. Uzziah! Yeah, this video is going to show that I have to talk one too many times. And I shouldn't. Uzziah! Take that stuff and go in the room. Go! Anyway, I'm going to finish this video because I, you know, they like to cut up when I'm on video time. So, anyway, so, uh, oh, where was I at? Oh, so anyway, you know, one thing led to another, and now it's in a place where they're totally not friends anymore. Like, literally, my daughter used to have to ask her, does she want to play? When a long time ago, they would be friends, and they go out together, and they'll play. You know what I'm saying? So now it's not even like that anymore. It's like, okay, my daughter don't want to hang out with the other girls because they are a bad influence. And she even said it. She said they cuss, they uh, bother people, and I'm, I don't want to be part of that. I, I understand that. Um, so they've been giving my daughter hell, just a lot, a lot, a lot of hell. And I finally cut, broke down and told the principal and the teacher. I gave them a long email. And I told them straight up, you guys practice these seven habits. But these kids don't know nothing about them. They still being mean. You are what type of school will sit here and allow kids to continuously get bullied on. But you guys don't even try to fix the problem. The only thing you guys do is tell them to stay away from each other. When that ain't what you're supposed to do. When you dissolve bullying situation, you fight. 
with evil, okay? Because it ain't nothing but evil coming up against these children. And you sit these kids down and you ask them, what is your problem? What has she ever done to you? What has he ever done to you? Why is it that you choose to do this? Is it just because you want to do it and it's fun? Or if you want to do it because you don't like them? Okay, why you don't like them? So, you know, I come to a conclusion where they need to sit down with these kids and talk to these kids. They need to let these kids know that that is not the right way to go. Because when you grow up, you ain't going to do nothing but not be anything. You're going to go out there in the streets and what you going to do? Be the biggest bully in town. Be the biggest gangster in town. You know, like a gangster. You know, bully means if you're an adult, that means that when you get your boyfriend, you telling him what to do. Yelling and hollering at him. Popping him in his head. Pushing on him. Shoving on him. Kicking on him. Telling him what he is and what he ain't. And if you got you a woman, you're going to be a domestic violence man. Same thing with the women. they domestic violence. But you're going to be the type of man that want to tell your woman when, where, and how she can do it and go. You know, that's where it comes in at when you don't correct them when they're little kids. So... Like I told him, I said, you know, you guys know you're wrong. It's two left feet and you need to continue. You need to handle it. And you need to handle it accordingly. 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 You need to add. Sorry, guys. I'm not probably, probably about to cut that out. Anyway, you need to. <laughs> no, I'm not. You need to handle it. I'm not going to try to use that word. You need to handle it the way it should be handled. You need to bring all those kids in the classroom and, and, and sit them down and talk. But instead, you allowing it to keep going on when you say, stay away from her, stay away from her. And then there's these yard duties on, on, um, on the yard, and why don't they see anything? Yeah, because sometimes them, some of the yard duties don't want to really do anything. And the only thing that they want to do is just walk around because they're so tired all day, every day. You know, and so like I told them, I said, you guys need to take care of your business and you need to handle it. I said, because if you don't handle it, I'm going to handle it and go to the Board of Education. And if I got to take it higher, I'm going to call every news channel there is. And I'm going to sit in front of the school and talk to them about the bullying situation. Because kids go out and go home, go home every day. Every day, I don't care what part of the world it is, they go home and they kill themselves because kids like that at school won't leave them the hell alone. You know, my daughter came home one day, the, uh, was it Thursday? And she had a really bad day Thursday. She came home, as soon as she came into the door, she hugged me tight and cried. My daughter has never, ever in her lifetime as she's been going to school did that. None of my kids, none of them. So that lets me know that somewhere up in there, somebody keep messing with her. You know, she can be on one side of the yard and they'll come and walk past her and say something. And I'm not supposed to do anything? I'm supposed to just sit here and let these kids do that? No. The principal, you gonna do something about it? Cause if you don't, Mama, you I'm gonna do something you about it. About I'm talking on my my video. Um, I'm gonna do something about it. I need to just find the other little girl's mother, and if I ever find her mother on Facebook, I am gonna message her, and I'm gonna let her know. Hey, look, you know, listen, I I know that your daughter is not supposed to be doing these things. Can you please, please tell her to not bother my daughter? please because the other little girl can't do it so she send your daughter to do her dirty work because she can't do it no more so with that being said that is what my video is all about and I just want you guys to know if there's any kids out here if there's any parents out here in California I don't care where you stay. Let's be friends. Let's you you need to get that soda and throw it in the sink because he got it yeah why did you leave it up there um if there's any parents you guys just you know come and talk to me come be my friend subscribe to my channel like this like that and let's just have some fun with talking and doing these videos and getting this word across because i don't care if this video reach where i live i don't really care i don't because at the end of everything they need to know 
should, no kids should go to school stressed out. No kids should be at school stressed out. No kids should come home stressed out. No kids should worry about going to school and, and nobody, you know, not wanting to go to school. That's what I'm trying to say. No kid. Every child, when you go to school, school's supposed to be fun for you. Beside the work, but school is supposed to be fun for you. It ain't supposed to be a place of horror or a place of hell. And then the teacher's not making it any better, man. I like I told the teachers, I said, you guys got to get it together. Seriously. You know, the teacher's even yelling and holler at them. I told my daughter's teacher, you better not yell at my daughter one more time. You will use that inside voice when you when you speaking to her. Because she's very, very sensitive. And she will cry. I said, the kids should not be yelled at, period. Kids, period, at school. And I know some of you might come to this video and say, kids are bad and this, that. Yeah, they are. They are bad because I my daughter's dealing with a prime example of them. And then on and then on top of that, her friend on Friday, her her ex friend, yelled at her. Now I'm really not being your friend. And I'm like, oh, really? I wish I was standing there when she did that. I really do. I look at her like, girl, please, as much junk as we done done for y'all and, and much junk as y'all done done for us and we done been through H-E double hockey sticks and this is the way you want to act because you found your friends and you're brand new now? How dare you? You know, like her, her, me and her Nana is good friends. Like when I, when I say good friends, I mean good friends. You know, it's like we call each other, we talk about the games, you know, and and if she needs change, I give it to her. If she need, if I need change, she give it to me, and so on and so forth. So we're not understanding why is did she all of a sudden change up like that? We don't know, and we'll never know because this is that's the way the generation of kids is. But, you know, we gonna keep praying on situations. Like I told my daughter, she stopped pursuing the, the issue and just leave it alone. You know, and, and eventually, you know, God will, will come back around in your favor. He really will. You know, you don't have to worry about these things. There's my church. If you guys are in, uh, there we go. Anyway, um, if you guys are in the Solano County area, um, anyway, yeah, so if you guys if you guys have any questions, if you guys have any comments, just put them down below. I am going to ignore anything that is not like a good comment and just I'll keep it there. Just keep it pushing, you know, because people people like to. Um, what is that? Is that the game? Yeah, but it took you off. Anyway, people like to, to be seen and heard, and that's the only way. They must like something I'm talking about if they do send in a bad comment. But anyway, I'm going to go before someone calls me and then take this whole video off, and I won't have a good ending. Ending, But um, like I said, parents come through. Teenagers come through. Kids come through. If you are experiencing any bullying, come talk to me. Come talk to me. We can work this out and we can find things for you guys that will be fun. We can look for friends. We can do it a pen pal thing, you know, and, and to maybe it'll turn into something big. I want to do that. I want to do a, I want to open up something or I want to start something so people can, kids can connect with other kids that's being bullied and they can write each other. And they can FaceTime each other. They can send each other little gifts or whatnot. So during the holidays and during birthdays and stuff or just whatever, you know, so that they can have somebody that they know is going to be their friend and is not going to change up on them because they find other friends. It's just it's hard. It's hard because I was bullied when I was younger. And I remember that bullying part when I was younger. I remember that so well, and the girl was always bothering me, and then one time my cousin, he just got fed up with it. Me and him was the same age, month apart. He was fed up with it, and he went to her, and he told her, you need to leave my cousin alone, and he wasn't nice either. He was not nice, and ever since then, she stopped messing with me. And then ever since then, I found my voice, you know, up until my relationship. But then that was a little bit, you know, my relationship was kind of a little quiet. I kind of got choked up and I kind of, when I started dealing with people in relationships and stuff when I thought I was grown. Um, but now, 
I'm 42 and my voice is here and it ain't going nowhere. It's here to stay and I'm here to help any and everybody who is struggling with this particular problem. So with that being said, I'm going to end this video. Okay, and then you'll have some things at the end of this video that I'm going to like put in my box down below um, My email all that stuff that you may need to contact me if you ever need the ear or if you want to Work with me and trying to establish something like this. It might be something like this all over the world I gotta come up with a name, but it ain't it ain't gonna be like me <laughs> Anyway, you guys have a blessed day. I will see you all the next time I come on here and do this video. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to subscribe because I will sub to you. So sub to me and I sub to you. Thank you and have a blessed day.